Okay, folks, this is it. This is the last question on the sample final. Number 24 for Chem 110B. A cylinder with a movable piston contains 16.81 liters of CO2 gas at 71 degrees C and 1.21 atmospheres of pressure. If the temperature decreases to negative 5 C and the pressure remains constant, what is the new volume? All right, you got gases, pressures, temperatures, different temperatures, different volumes. That's a P1, V1 equals N1, RT1 over P2, V2 equal N2, RT2. Problem if I ever saw one. Okay, so what can we cancel out? What do we know is exactly the same and isn't changing? Well, R always cancels out. They tell you that the pressure remains constant, so that cancels out, okay? So if those cancel out, and we certainly didn't say anything about moles of gas being added or lost, that cancels out too. So what's left? V1 over V2, respect the equal sign, T1 over T2. Now, who knows how this problem will be whenever you go to do it. There could be all kinds of variables. Maybe only R cancels out. You just go through the same process every time. We want to cross multiply to get everything into the numerator. So that's V1, T2 is equal to V2, T1. Okay, so now we have to identify what everything is up there so that we know what goes with what? Cylinder with a movable piston contains 16.81 liters. So that's what we're going to call V1. Okay. Temperature of 71 degrees C. That's going to be T1. Pressure remains constant. So P1 is equal to P2 and we don't have to worry about that. The temperature decreases, so this is now T2. What's the new volume? So isn't that what we're solving for? Okay. Solving for V2. Divide both sides by T1. V2 is equal to V1. T2 over T1. What's volume 1? 16.81 liters. What is T2? Remember, if we're doing an ideal gas law, we must use the ideal gas law units. Even though R cancels out, it's still part of the calculation. So, those are units of liters, atmospheres, moles, and degrees K. So, 71, oh, temperature 2. Temperature 2 is right here. What is temperature 2? It's 273 plus negative 5, or 268K, right? And what's T1? That's 71 plus 273. I guess you're going to add upside down to get in Kelvin four four three three forty four K three sig figs here and here four sig figs there Kelvin cancels we're left with liters to three sig figs when you punch that in it's thirteen point one liters and before you leave I know it's the very last problem and you're all done and maybe that's your last final, so you're ready to go home and shop for Christmas. You're ready to go, or, or head off for summer. You're ready to roll. Make sure you do a sanity check. If the volume at this high temperature is this, and then we decrease it way down cold, do you think the volume will go up or go down? Of course the volume will get smaller whenever it gets colder. Okay. So that's it. That makes some sense. Three sig figs, not one, because we didn't use negative five, we used 268.
If you want more practice on these guys, you go to Quiz 11, Chapter 13, Exercises 13B and C. Good luck, guys. Pound at it. Get some rest. Good luck.